Welcome back. We're still here with Madame Chigundu Rose telling us more about this new technology that she's planning to bring in the country and hoping that Ugandans will take up. We have countries like Indonesia, Ukraine, Russia, and our very own neighboring country, Tanzania, that signed up. So why not Uganda? I hope that we're able to take up this technology because it looks like the, like the, 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 the bright, the, the new, what do they call it? The new technology that we should be picking up because, like you said, it's eco-friendly. There's noise pollution, you know. It's 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 the fares are not very exp um, expensive, and plus, if you have invested in it, it's long term, but your family will rip off with time, right? So now, I feel like as a layman, as a Uganda out there, you already explained a bit of a scientific, you know, a pointer. How help someone out there? possible eh how does this technology work eh? i want you to explain to me that you wake up in them but they build it like this and it's put in different you know in this different areas and this is how you you know how is it made how do you how, how is it built up yeah layman layman Skyray Group owns exclusive rights to the technology of string transport. According to independent experts, the cost of technology $400 billion. They are getting ready to go public soon, so this is the time to get your shares. $500 will get you 50,000 shares. After IPO, each share will be worth $1. Imagine investing $500 and in two to five years receiving $50,000. Don't waste time. Get them now. Countries are rushing to get on board to cope with their traffic problems. India, Australia, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and more. Get your shares now. Regarding to this technology, it's not just trains to move people, it's also trains to move goods like cargo. Cargo will have a way. Of course, uh, the urban train to move people in the city, yes. just to trip you know, maybe from here to Zambia, from here to Nadia, you know. And then you go the, the Unibike to, to, to be used in the poorest affluent areas. So, like you see sometimes, you see videos in WhatsApp, mm -hmm. WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. they send you videos like a lion is, you know, catching up a man like eating it, um, a woman, yeah. just risk here. So this technology will solve all these problems. Let's talk about traffic, yeah? You're very from here, just see to get only 20 minutes to get here, it's like 2 minutes to walk. Yeah. So you get off traffic, you travel faster, and being that it's noise, uh, the noise is really low, it won't affect the environment as well. It will uh, keep the natural, uh, you know, the nature of our earth, like, you know. My fear is that the, the way I understand it, it's like there are strings attached to this, eh? So it's like pillars. pillars. Yes. So we can't tell you know. You don't need to move people from where they live, like, you know, they're building train from Nairobi to Mombasa to Uganda, you know, they need to move people from here to ground. This technology just need uh, just a small piece of land and then put a special pieces, like what, five meters or ten meters, depending mm. on how you know the project is. Oh, wow! Budget, yeah. So it's safe. It is very safe. You don't need to move people. There will be no complaints. They just need small landing position yeah. because we don't need flat ground to build this technology. But now, isn't that competition now with, mm, mm, from? First of all, oil companies, you know, people that are dealing in cars and they're fighting this project because if that's set up, that's no, why would I buy a car? Chiroseko, why would I buy a car if this is cheaper? Traffic is, is cut off, there's no air pollution, even eco friendly. Why would I buy a car? Don't you feel like this is going to be fought by the um, oil companies? The people that make motorcycles, motor vehicles, isn't well, it hard to pass that law? It is going to be an alternative. You can go by car, you can go by you know, this technology, this plate, you can go by border border, you can go by special, you can go by Uber, mm -hmm. you know, it depends on choice. But like there's no, that you're not finding any problem with it because I you know most... I don't think it's going to be a threat to 
because um, if you look at things like Facebook and MySpace, they had the same idea, the same concept, but Facebook came up with different features and was more you know, user friendly. Yeah. So it would be a very bad thing like it's gonna be actually very good. Hmm. Okay, if you say so, because if I was working in a company that was making better vehicles and I had you people coming, I would be scared. I'd be really scared because that is it's cheaper, it has way more advantages. I'd sell off my car and buy something like this, it makes much more money. But then um how do I get how do Ugandans take part of this if I want to pay? Do you have any offices here? No. Everything is digital, like I said, and very soon we shall have uh, Ixu Ndukwa and uh, Dani, maybe uh, an office here, and we shall come and open it officially. So setting up is not a problem. Ah, but you know when you said everything is digital, eh? Yeah. Even putting my money is digital. You know, we're still... You know, we've gone through that for error, and we're still going through it of too much fraud, too much bafere in Uganda. Or check it out. You better tell you where two million shillings every month and then wake up in the morning the offices are closed you don't hear this anymore you see it's hard you all you you have to give us some sort of yeah. wh why should we could be confident because these things of digital not it's digital i should say because virus is far from Uganda, but the land where the testing is is even by the Virus government to the um, ESP, the designer of this technology. So uh, it's very not a threat to anybody because it's not a fraud, it's not a, a scam, it's not it's something that is tangible. You can also fly there and go and see the technology. So. Fly there, but that means that this is something that rich people can only invest in and ordinary Uganda can't. Because you think about it, fly there. Do you know some Ugandans can't even fly from Uganda to Kenya? So if I have to check on my investment all that way, yeah. it's going to be quite difficult. Don't you think so? I think you can trust me on this because I wouldn't come in public on tele to promote something that is fraud. That is true. I understand where yeah. you're coming from, but I'm, I'm, I, I also... This technology, yeah, it is built, it's a country space and so the guy who invented it, he's a well-known guy by United Nations, he's been awarded from you know, different Bodies. So we can trust him. Yes. Okay, we'll try to do that. Yeah. So you say that if they want to take part, it's a digital thing. They at yes. the moment, yeah. at the moment they can go online and and research about it and find yes. out how to take part. Yeah. There are any like links? Everything is everything is transparent, mm. and I'm here to guide um, anyone has questions. For how long are you here for, by the way? I'm here for another two weeks. So if you want to reach her, please, she's here for another two weeks. If you're interested in this technology, how can they reach you? They can reach me through um, Nuka or um, Dani. Mm -hmm. I think I've got to uh, mm -hmm. um, So you can I reach... I think I'll, 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 I'll send a number to the... Um, uh, so you can... Yeah, so yeah. you can... Okay, that's great. But one last question. Huh? Um, you're a lady and it's Woman Crash Wednesday. And uh, no offense, you know, I'm a, I, I also, I'm out for the, I'm up for the women. Women can do this. Everyone is wondering, trust me, Ugandans, you know, no mukazi. We have technology, we have engineering, like it's a man's job. How do you pick interest? Because most times they'll expect you to come here and talk about fashion, design, you know, music, arts, you know, planting. But you're a lady and you're into engineering. How? <laughs> Yes, that's how we like to go over. They don't share the way how to, you know, how they made those millions. I want to show what I know to my fellow Ugandan sisters and brothers how I will get those videos so I can get you together. Mm. Yeah. So you're pretty sure that this is the technology that's going to help us get out of poverty? It's going to get us out of, uh, going to get us out of poverty. Why? I'm going to give you a very simple example. Mm. There's something that everyone knows about. Uh, like, mm. I've got to talk about Facebook. 
Yeah, because everyone at least knows has Facebook. a Facebook account. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna give you as an example. If you had a chance to invest in Facebook when we started to look for investors, that was in 2004. Yeah. And it went on stock market in 2009. Yeah. But for those who invested in 2004, they would say, um, I'm gonna put my thousand dollars. But you know how much they would get in return, like as in equity to the company? Mm. Maybe thirty thousand dollars of equity. Yeah. Maybe forty. But the person who came in later, less than 2006, will get less and more yeah, equity. Yeah. Because now the risk is what? It's slow. Mm. So the same thing applies with our project. If you come in early, if you come in early, you got more equity. But if you come in late, you're going to get less equity. Mm. That's the, the thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for being part of the show. Mm. And I hope this works out, this project. She's going to send us our numbers just, to, just in case you want to be part of it. But you said you've got a big following on Facebook. So still they yeah, can check out your Facebook, yeah. right? But still people want to speak to you. They want to talk you. They want to see. Is it really true? Yes. So tell them Where can they reach you? Uh, my number is 077-5380-996. Uh, seven, seven, mm -hmm. Yeah. So you got it. Make sure you get in, to, in touch. And her Facebook, by the way, your Facebook too? Uh, my Facebook name is Roshina. Roshina. Yeah. Roshina Chigun. No, MH. MH, Roshina. Yeah. Make sure you get in touch either physically or via Facebook. That is all we had. Yeah. But Anything? Now you're going to go to Uganda. Kari, Kari. But now you're going to go to Uganda. I'm 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 going to go to Uganda. Because that is all Okay, thank you very much, Madam Rashina, for being part of the show. Maybe next time when you come back, we'll host you again. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. See you.